it's April 30th, 2020. It's raining outside, so I need to get, get my quail cage done, but I'm not going to be sawing in the rain and getting all my tools wet and me getting wet. It, it's been raining off and on all day. So what I got to do is I got to get a water bucket going for this quail cage and a feeder going for the quail cage. So I'm going to show you, we'll, we'll start with the feeder first and then I'll show you what I'm going to do. So I got these here. Uh, they're little, um, I think they're napkin rings from the dollar store. They're an inch and a half round. They got four rings on them. Uh, four, uh, they, yeah, they got like four looking rings on them. And what I did is, that I thought that was too thick, so I cut it in half. So then it came out to be, be about that big. And this is... A half an inch wide by an inch and a half circumference of the diameter. So what I did was I get a, uh, a bucket from Walmart. They got these in the, the um, cooking area where they make their bread. They get their flour and stuff in these. And they'll sell them to you for a dollar. And they have a lid. So I got the lid. comes with it. So I, I measured up on the bucket about an inch and a half, a little, uh, an inch and three eighths of an inch, inch and three eighths to the bottom of the hole. So what I'm going to do is you take these and I'm going to put it in there. So how do I cut the hole out? I got this set here. It's a carbon steel hole saw, and they got all these different blades in it, all these different sizes. So I put that on my drill, measured it, cut the hole like that. So I, I took a marker pin, <clears throat> marked it out, I cut the hole, but the hole is too small. And I want it that way. So I can't stick it in or out. If you if it's too big, then you'd have to glue it. So I, I don't want to have to glue it. So I cut the hole. I got a heat gun. I heated up the hole like that for about two or three minutes till it's real soft. Pretty pretty soft. And I, I started and I pushed out from the inside out. And then it looks like this. So it's a the, the plastic's really soft, so you can bend it wherever you want it, but that is not going to come out. It is stuck in there really good. So when it's on the ground, like this, the quail are, are going to stick their heads through that, and they're going to get the feed. So uh, I don't want this whole bucket full of feed, so what I'm going to do, I don't have the right thing. I want a, I want a PVC pipe. That they're uh, about that round and they're greenish looking, the water pipes. Um, but it's about this big round. And basically, this is just an example till I get that piece of pipe because I don't have it today. Uh, if you can see here, I, I marked out a little um, thing and then you cut that out. And you cut four of them in this, in this piece. So when that goes down, and it comes up, you, you fill this full of feed, so this whole thing is full on the inside. And once it's full on the inside, it's going to bleed out feed into this bucket where those holes are. And when the quail come to stick their head through that hole, they're going to slightly touch this and the feed is going to slowly go down and get into this bucket. So it's like a gravity feed system where it's... Uh, it's just not full, it just feeds it as it goes. And then you can have it, you can cut a hole in your lid, like that, big of a hole, so that when your lid is on here, this is coming out and then you have a cap on it. So you don't have to open this up at all. You just take your cap off and you fill that full and then it'd be good for, depending on how long your tube is, It'd be good for three or four days, or five. You could make it a week, or whatever, depending on how many quail you have, and uh, 
how much they eat, time of the year, all that stuff. Or I haven't had any problems with it. I have it in my quail cage. Uh, what I noticed on my uh, that I have already, I put this too low. Uh, but it's great for the little babies. But once they get bigger, they get taller, and they'll they'll need this a little taller. So that's the measurements I have for that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna cut a hole here on all four sides, and then I'll have these here, and I'll just stick them in each one. So that's my quail feed. All right. Put all that in there. So next, we have the water watering system. Uh, so I, I bought this off of eBay. It's called Autofill. And it was $20. And it's an automatic feeding and watering system. It says Autofill. And it gives you the instructions on here on what to do. And I'll... I kind of cut it out already, so I'll show you what I did. So it comes with these parts here. So it has this float system. So the float, you drill a 3 8 inch hole here toward the top. You got a gasket on it. So you're gonna stick your you're gonna stick your float through the gasket. You're going to stick this nut on it. Like so. This is, I think it's going to work out really well. So then that is like that. So what this does is when the water comes up, it turns the water off. Just like your toilet. It has a float system like this. So then on the outside here, it comes with this adapter. Now what this does is this hooks up to your garden hose to a spigot outside your house. So you have your water turned on, probably not full blast, probably just cracked a little bit. So it's not putting a lot of pressure into your hose, but it's putting it up. So you screw that on there. Like that. It has a gasket, so your hose goes on here. And then your hose will be feeding in water. And then when your water gets up to the right level, it raises this float and turns the water off. So now what do we got? We got these little things here. So what I, I went ahead and did is, I, I'm like, how tall are the quail? So I think the quail are about that tall. So as the quail comes along, doo -doo 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 -doo, and he sees water in there, he's going to get the water. Every time he touches the water, or this little yellow thing, it lets more water in. So it doesn't keep running all over the place, it's just on demand. So what do I do? I, uh, I took the 3 8 3 8 yeah, 3 8 drill, and I drilled these out and with my drill. And then they leave a little burr in there, so you take your knife and you go around it and you get the little burr off. Uh, I skipped something. So when you're drilling the hole through, you might want to support it. So when you're drilling, uh, have a piece of wood behind it so it supports it, so it doesn't push through and make go all over the place. So it's good to have a piece of scrap wood. Uh, so what I did with this here, this is about to the center of the hole is three inches. So three inches up, I drill the hole. And then you're gonna, you're gonna just basically screw this into it. There's a gasket on this, so it won't uh, leak. That's about right. And then it has a, a wing nut that goes on the inside. So it looks like that on the inside. You've got a little wing nut. And you're just going to do that with all four of them. So it's going to I'll just my gasket on there. I'll just do this real quick. 
And I, I, I think I'm going to like these because a lot of the people, they, I looked up videos and they're like, they're using these all these different kinds of watering system and they try to make up their own. And I'm like, this just seems so much easier just to put these on. You know, 20 bucks. You're only, it's not like it's going to wear out. Oh, and another good thing about these. So they have a, uh, a flexible thing here. So you can twist and pull. And if you look here, you'll see that. And what that does is that allows you to take this off and clean it. So if it's getting disgusting uh, once a month or whatever, you can take that off and clean that up. Or if this gets clogged up, uh, it has a little spring in it you, and a gasket, so you can take that off and clean that up too. There we go. Take that nut off. So if you got like a hundred quail or something, you put this in the middle of your quail pin. One more time. And then they can come and get water anytime they want. So we're gonna experiment with it and I don't get paid by these guys or I'm not affiliated with them and I don't get any kickbacks. I'm just looking at products and Seeing if I like them or not. So I don't know if it'll be really good or not so good. We'll just screw that on there. And uh, yeah. That didn't take too long. So I, I drilled the holes earlier. It uh, looks like that. So we're just going to hook up a water hose to it. It's uh, the auto filler. You can, I got it on eBay. So, oh, another thing, if you want, so in your water, you can put stuff like, um, some of the guys put, uh, apple cider vinegar in there and what that does is it helps the bacteria inside the quail their intestinal tract and all those things I was also thinking about putting a couple drops of iodine in there um, so you could probably do that too maybe five drops of iodine and iodine as you know is a healer it heals things but yeah so that's the uh, the watering system and uh, I'll finish up this, putting the rest of these four things in for the uh, feeder system. And then I'll get one of those things there. And yeah, that's, uh, that's what we did today. All right, you guys have a great day. And uh, keep safe and don't work in the rain.